Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We just went through this uh, Stark Fort. Now we're here at the end. I think we're going to face a boss, so let's just get right into it. Oh, okay. Now, can I check out the rest of the room before talking to him? Okay, there's nothing in here. I'll admit, this was a reckless plan from the outset. A great battle against a powerful nation, outnumbered 100 to 1. Such a thrilling opportunity. But I was not able to keep my subordinates in check, leading to the scourge of the toxic mist and the death of the fire vestal. The toxic mist decimated the main forces of the shield bearers, but the black blades did not escape unscathed. The death of the fire vestal caused Mount Karka to erupt, sealing the way into the temple. And then, you arrived. You introduced me to the way of the sword, Master. You taught me many things. About values, standards, and good and evil. It's fair to say you had a great influence on me. My father was always concerned about his work and his ideals. He found little time to spend with me. Tell me, Master. Were the things you told me about righteousness Strength and bravery all lies. That we should help the helpless and face strong foes without flinching. I cannot fathom why you have lit the fires of war in this realm, causing strife to so many innocents. I still find it hard to believe. This is not the man I know. He would never do this! You let sentiment cloud your mind, Adia. You are still as earnest as you were when you were a youth. You never waver in your disgust for recreant behavior. You condemn all that runs counter to your beliefs without fail. In a way, you remind me of your father. What? You see him in me? Yes, very much so. But you are still a child. Unsullied by the world. There are no certainties in life. Righteousness and truth have a different meaning to each and every one of us. If you try to see the world as merely black or white, you'll lose sight of its true nature. Many are quick to treat us as children. But they simply use that as an excuse for their own corruption. The warrior's pride is not always compatible with the responsibilities of a commander, Adia. If I could act as I see fit, everything would be easy. But that is not the case. The same goes for your father. And someday, for the wind vestal you accompany. Oh. Don't compare her to you or my father. Agnes acts for the good of the world! She fights to carry out her mission, no? Blood and tears are shed in its name. It is no different for your father, Omi. Mission? No different? You and your soldiers plunged the world into turmoil! You started a war, and took the lives of so many. How can you say Agnes is like you? If you cannot see beyond the surface, then perhaps you will never understand. Do not be so blind. You must not lose sight of what is most important. I thought I had taught you that. Enough sophistry! It is underhanded! That does it! I shall go to help on yes, awaken the Earth Crystal! <laughs> if that is your decision... I hope you are prepared to live with it. I am. I'm ready to fight any who get in our way. Even you or my father. Very well then. I see you have made up your mind. Alright, let's go! Alright, I haven't looked up anything about this guy, so I don't know the amount of HP he has. But I guess we'll start with... Some special moves, right? I think that is... Fair enough. Hmm. I guess let's just do a hidden dragon. And then a piercing bolt. 
Okay, he didn't default, which is good. If he defaulted, I would have been mega sad. Okay, 1.3. Special attack is up for everyone now, which is nice. So our next couple turns will be enhanced. Okay, 4k. So 5k so far around. Ow. Say goodbye. That hurt actually quite a bit. Okay, 8k so far. I'm guessing he's gonna have around 40 to 50 to 60k. Um, okay, I guess we can just do, um, let's do a stomp. We can do, um, I guess a Blizzard is fine. Hidden Dragon. And definitely, we should probably do Akira on everyone. Let's go ahead and slow this battle down a little bit. Oh, 2k is kind of bad. Okay. Anyas is the only one with still kind of low HP here. But all of us do a great deal of damage. Okay, another Stomp. Another Blizzard. Another Hidden Dragon. Let's go ahead and just use Kira on just Anyas. Okay, nothing ventured. I don't know what that does. Maybe that's kind of like a Valkyrie attack where it comes up next turn, maybe? Nothing venture. Ooh. Oh, that's like an en end of attack. Oh, no, it's a physical, so it, it's he counters everything. Ooh. Okay, I'll have to watch out for that. Um, let's go ahead and just default. Sadly, I'll have to go into the red for this. But we gotta get these two bad boys up. Gotta get them up. Okay. Oh, he's attacking a lot. This might suck a little bit, but I guess we'll see. Go ahead and get those, these guys up. Hopefully he won't just kill us all. Hopefully. We're gonna get deep in the red now, so it's gonna suck a feed. Okay, Angelic Ward. Perfect. Another Angelic Ward. You absolutely love to see it. Oh, and it actually saved him. Okay. Ooh. Um. I have... Mm. I feel as if I should be using an Explosion on Ring about. And then... Mmm. And let's not even use a Brave. Let's just go ahead and just do an Explosion on Ring about. Maybe call it a day here. I think that would probably be the best option. And do a Stomp. Do a blizzard. Let's go ahead and default with Anya's for now. I think that should be good. Do a stomp. Let's, let's continue with this. Let's just stomp. Let's default with Anya's again before swine. What does that do? Ooh, magic counter. Okay. Let's go ahead and default. Default. Um, let's do three here. We're gonna raise a Dia. Then we're gonna use two Kiras. Okay, so I have to watch out. He has counters. Uh, he has counters for both physical and magic, so. I'll have to watch out. Okay. Oh, and he has the group healing now, too, so. This is perfect. He gets everyone up real good. So that was one of his support abilities, if you guys didn't see me put it on last episode. So basically, all of his single healing... So when you single heal, it does a lot. When you group heal, it spreads it out. His single heal now applies to group healing, so... That's really, really good. Let's go ahead and do another stomp. Do another fire. Um, let's go ahead and use... Let's just use three hidden dragons. Hopefully he doesn't use that counter. I'm I'm just hoping he doesn't use it. Okay, he didn't Oh, he's in the red, so he can't use anything. Just fair enough. But let's go ahead and default. Use our use our bolt and then default again. I think this will keep us at a good standing. If he does something crazy like the counters, I won't instantly die to him. But yeah, his counters are tricky, because if my entire party was physical dealers, I'd be dead pretty quickly. But we can go ahead and do a stomp. We can default, default, and then let's go ahead and use another Kira here. Nothing ventured. Okay, everyone's healed up. Okay, that's going to kill him. That's okay, he was about the only one that did that. We can just use um, rings, and then we do Kira on everyone as well. Because either way, same one healing, so I should basically do all the time, okay? Oh, so that's perfect. Let's, Let's go ahead and kind of go all out here. Hopefully, 
he doesn't have that counter. So we'll use some hidden dragons here. And hopefully he doesn't kill Ring-A-Bell. Just kind of have to hope for it. Oh, he's at minus two anyway, I guess, so it wouldn't matter. Okay. Do some hidden dragons. Okay. Let's go ahead and default. Default. And then we could probably just do... Let's just do one Kira for now. Just to get everyone topped off. Um, let's default again. Default. Default. And let's just do one more Kira. So most people are defaulted, which is amazing. That that was a that was a good timing default right there. Although I have a feeling now. Oh, he's at minus two again, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, well then let's just go ahead and um just do just hit him with everything we got. Let's do a Thundara. Let's do a and then we'll do one more Thundara. I'm gonna use some hidden dragons here. We're just gonna go all out on him. Special piercing bolt. And then we're going to do some Auroras, and we should be good. I think this will kill him. Uh, doing these full-out assaults is usually a terrible idea, but I'm pretty confident we can probably do a large amount of damage and kill him right here. Okay, there's Ring of Bells. Adia will have around... Easy enough. Yeah, that guy wasn't crazy tough. It, I mean, we're overleveled, so take that into perspective. But he didn't do much damage. Swordmaster, what does this guy do? What anticipates enemy movements to unleash powerful counterattacks, reduces damage and hits foes back, papers katanas. Okay, so he likes katanas. Fair enough. <laughs> well fought. I underestimated your conviction. Will you hear your master out one last time, Adia? Of course. Take the time to speak with your father properly. If you do not, I see nothing but tragedy for you both. And this petty descent between father and child. Master. You two were always so difficult. Master. <laughs> he did. Okay, quickly, town update, huh? Alarm earrings, okay. And that was the only thing that got done, so let's go ahead and stick anyone we got on there. 12 hours! Jeez. Let's see, are you almost done? Can I take some off you, bud? I'm gonna go ahead and take, like, a couple people off of you. Let's stick it on here. There we go, that seems a little bit more balanced. I think we can get out of here now. Oh, I could even... Let's just even use a teleport stone, there's no reason to walk through the place. Just teleport stone out of here. And I think we can go to our main mission now. Because this was actually just a side quest. Honestly, that surprises me a little bit. I thought Adia's Master would have been like the final boss for this chapter. But it ended up being only a side thing. So that was surprising to me. But fair enough, I guess. But yeah, he was like the leader of all of them. So I'm like, oh yeah, he's definitely going to be like... Get a good night's sleep here. 
that should give us all of our MP back and we can continue on with the game. Let's go see what is up with the commander. So we gotta go to the yellow spot on our map, which is just the same bridge that we've basically been going back and forth to throughout the game. So yeah, so far, um, of the cutscenes seen earlier in this chapter, we only have two people left. We beat the master. We beat Quada, the salve maker. The only one we have left is the pirate and the ninja. So those are the two that we're probably going to get next. Pirate and ninja. You did what? You went to the Temple of Fire? There was a way in through the Mithril Mine? Yes, we have awakened the fire crystal. That should quell Mount Karka's fury. That is excellent news. Thank you, Wind Vestal. We owe you and your companions our thanks. One thing. After we awaken the fire crystal, all the veins of ore in the mine disappear. I see. Oh, no need to look so dejected. This is actually good news for us. After all, the mithril warheads the sword bearers fired upon us were a source of great concern. This should change the course of the war. If we are lucky, it may end soon. Once the eruption of Mount Karka subsides, we will also work to restore the Temple of Fire as quickly as we can. I would appreciate that. The Fire Vessel should be given a proper funeral without delay. After all, we were only able to awaken the Fire Crystal through the help of Ego here, and the Fire Vestal. Is that so? Fine work, Ego. You have my thanks, too. <laughs> what will become of the Canary Boys, who were working in the mine? They were all without homes to go back to. So we will harbor them here in Heart's Child. The townspeople will see that they are cared for. I'm glad to hear that. You'll be seeing your friends again soon, Abel. Yeah. Well, you are all tired, I dare say. Please get some rest while you sojourn in Heart's Child. Okay. Fair enough. Okay guys, so super quick, um, I know there's supposed to be like a ghost ship subquest sometime in this chapter, and I don't see a blue mark, and I don't see where it's at, so before we go to our main mission, I feel like we should, I should go and, I should go looking for this subquest, because I know it has to be done, and I want to make sure to get every asterisk, so we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go over to that thing in the middle of the sea, a, or I'm gonna talk to people. I have to figure this out. Oh, it's nighttime now. Maybe right now it'll work. No, it's turning daytime. No, I have to go at night. I have to go at night. So, there's a mist here. This is where we're supposed to go. Where did this fog come from? Look at that! Is that what I think it is? <gasps> it's heading for us! What do we do? Uh, board? Obviously. SS Funky Francisca. There's nobody on board. No, don't be so sure. It is haunted by the ghosts of the crew. A shame that only the souls of men inhabit this place. I'd happily lay the souls of women to rest. Aha! 
guests that yet breathe a rare honor. <laughs> Pirate. Wait, can we go? Okay, we can't go inside. Fair enough. Is he alive? Are you the captain of the ship? Close! I am actually the acting captain! The real captain is right here at my side. But I suppose. You can't see him, can you? S so this is a g ghost ship. Welcome to our pirate ship, the SS Funky Francisca. I am Captain Barbarossa, leader of the Black Blades Naval Force. The Black Blades? You must be the Wind Vester. And her companion. A pleasure to meet you. I didn't save. How do you know of us? How could I not know of the brave souls who defeated the Swordmaster Kami Izumi, my commander? I have looked forward to meeting you in battle one day. <laughs> I leave the helm to you, me matey. We'll make this a fair fight. Yar! We fight then. Yar! The ship is coming apart. How clumsy of me to step through the deck. <laughs> no ghost is that clumsy. He must be alive. I am indeed the genuine article. A man in the flesh, though the only one among my crew. <laughs> okay, let's defeat him quick. This video is getting long. Why the ghost ship? I sail this ship in search of a certain something. It can only be found by this vessel. It's from a treasure? A certain something? You might call it adventure. Surely you don't have to be a man of the sea to know that. I know what you speak of. A man's soul craves nothing more than the romance of adventure. Well, aren't you two getting on famously, ring a bell? Perhaps it is something women and children can never understand. If you think about it rationally, it does seem absurd. But absurd or not, it is adventure I seek. And the years I have spent wandering the seas in folly have shown me many truths. That's it! The truth! Now, <sighs> let us have a little fun. I agree. See how you fare against my great axe! Let's do it. Like I said, I need to wrap this video up. We're getting close to 30. Let's go ahead and beat him up. Let's start out with the usual. Let's do our specials. Piercing bolt. We can do... Okay, we can only do moonbeam for now. Piercing bolt. Okay, that'll be our first moves here. Now, I don't expect this guy to be very hard. Because I just... I don't see him being very hard. So, that's 5k so far. It's gonna be... 5k, 8k. And I think he's probably got 40. I'm just gonna guess. I have no idea, but I'm just gonna guess 40. Just because that's around what other people had. 8k so far. Okay, it's just... Rounded to 11k. 11 so far. 11... Let's just route it to 15. Okay, defense down. Let's just do something stupid. Let's just stomp at him. Because why not? Let's do Thandara. Right, Thandara. Okay, with Anya. So let's go ahead and do the Hidden Dragon. And then with Ring-A-Bell, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, 
Let's do a compound. Let's just play around. What is this? Um, how do I enter? Wait, lightning with. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Let's see what that does. A lightning bane. Okay. Oh, did I just make him lightning weak? And now Adia is using lightning? Completely 100% calculated. 100% calculated. Okay, let's, let's raise this a little faster here. That didn't even hurt that much. Are we gonna kill him this quickly? You love to see it. See, this is the power of uh, combination, and I just so happen to do lightning. I got really lucky there, but that was sick. Pirate asterisk. Affects enemy attributes with immense powerful attacks. Highest physical attack favors axes. Okay, so this guy's supposed to be like crazy strong. You and your allies have bested me, Windbester. Such power. <laughs> Forgive me, Suleiman. Commander, it seems my time is up. <laughs> Both. Okay. Um, Alright guys, we're going to end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.